Hello. How are you guys doing? I was just asking Byron about, you know, you've been in so many situations with so many different players, right, new players, but this is one where you've got a lot of rookies in big roles, whether it's injuries, whether it's whatever, it's Cade, it's Rashad, it's those guys. Yep. So what is it like for you to, you know, to try to keep that patience and also, you know, be productive and understand they may not be where they're going to be in six weeks? Um, no, I think it's always tough to put too much on the, the rookies. It's just a lot to... I just remember when I was a rookie, it was a very challenging time. You know, you just don't have the experience uh, to kind of make all the right decisions. So when you play with veteran players, you know, there's a degree of confidence you have just because even though you may have not have talked about something, they'll still do it basically the way that you want it. It may not be exactly right, but pretty close. With rookies, it's hard. You know, there's a lot, a huge learning curve. So it's just important, and Byron does a great job of making sure when they – are in there, they're doing things that we're all confident in them doing um, and not putting people in positions to not do well. So, you know, you got to do the best you could do. Every team has young players. Every team has veteran players. Every team has guys who haven't played much. So it's what everyone deals with. You just got to do the best you could do. You'd wish that you'd have a veteran group that could play every play for 16 weeks, 17 weeks, but not the reality. So um, the guys we have in there are doing a good job, you know, and we're going to keep pushing and keep trying to keep the pressure on everybody to try to make us a better football team. Tommy, you're, you're all about winning rather, rather than <clears throat> stats, but you guys have scored an awful lot of points over the last two years, averaging around 30 points per game. And a couple weeks ago, you were running down the list of all the new players that you have, and it kind of speaks to Rick's question about having the patience with all of these younger players. But is there a level of frustration sometimes for you that, that it's not as prolific on offense as it has been over the last two years to start the season as you're going through some growing pains collectively? I think there's always a degree of frustration in football, period. Um, so, you know, you just you want it to go right all the time. It doesn't do that. So they're really good on the other side of the ball. They're forcing you to do things you're not so good at. Um, so you just, you know, we're trying to win the game and we're trying to improve. And, um, you know, it's not always going to be your best quarter of football every single time out. So you just got to have patience and you got to do your best to stay focused and try to execute as well as you can based on the circumstances. Tom, these ASD teams are, are probably the programs you know best for your career. You've gone up against a lot of Pittsburgh teams. Yep. What, what do you expect from a Mike Tomlin defense? You know, it's just very good, very sound. He's a great coach. He's been a great coach since he's, you know, got into the league. He's, these guys always play hard. They've got some great players um, always have. You know, it's a great fan base, great stadium, tough place to play. Um, so it's a big challenge for us. You know, they didn't play the way they were capable of at Buffalo. I'm sure they'll be ready to go. I know they have some injuries they're dealing with. We're dealing with some injuries. So, you know, we got to put a lot into it. And we got to go out there and, and do our best. We already talked to you about the Grady Jarrett call, and you said, hey, I don't, I don't throw the flag. But something like that happened again on Monday night. And yeah. I know you're all about competition, too. So how do you kind of, how does the league find that happy medium between protecting you guys and at the same time still ensuring that, you know, there's, there's competition on the other side of the ball? What's the question? Just how the league can find a medium between protecting you guys as quarterbacks and at the same time, you know, you still get a competitive product you know, with, with guys on defense, you still allow them to be able to, to do some of the things they need to do. For sure, yeah. I mean, no one wants any missed calls or uh, I think that's just, you don't want to miss pass interference call. You don't want to miss holding call. You don't want to miss illegal contact call. They don't want to call on them. It's just, I don't know, we're trying to eliminate every missed penalty. Is that what every batter wants, every strike called perfectly? And, you know, I don't know how you do that. So. And also from a safety standpoint, it seems like, like for instance, with, with Jones, it was he put his body weight on Derek Carr. That, that's not a new rule or anything, but, you know, we see a lot yeah. more of that being I think there's there's tough rules, there's tough calls, it's tough enforcing it, it's tough for the players, it's tough for everyone. You know, I think the game's changed. I alluded to that earlier, you know, in the year. It's there's a lot of things that I see that are probably pretty challenging to officiate. They're probably challenging to play defense with. Um, so um, I don't I don't have all the answers to all those. You know, I, I don't think the referees are robots. I don't think they're trying to get it wrong. I don't think they're always going to get it right. You know, I feel bad for a guy when they get called something that probably shouldn't be that way. And sometimes you just got to shake it off. You know, I've lost Super Bowls because I thought they missed a call, you know. So 
I don't know, you go, all right, well, you're going to get some, you're going to not get some. And you hope they don't come up, but they come up. It's, it's sports. It's So the fact that everyone wants to talk about it like it's something new, it always, it's always been like that. So you just do the best you could do. You try to keep it in your hands the best way you can. And if you get an unfortunate thing that happens, it's unfortunate. It really is. And I don't think anyone's trying to scheme anyone out of that or – it's just the way sports are. You just, I miss throws, refs miss calls, you know, but we try to do the best we can do. And when they don't go your way, you just complain to the refs like I do. So, <laughs> Tom, this season's still relatively young, but we get the pervading sense when you talk to guys in the locker room that this team hasn't played its best football yet or that points get left out there. How close do you think this offense is to uh, being where you want to be? I think we're just going to work at it all, every day and you know, get to be as good as we can possibly be. I think that, you know, the, what we can be and compared to other years where I've been here, I don't think that's really um, what a goal is. I think we got to maximize our potential. And there's a different team, different group of guys. I don't think any of us have played to the level that we're capable of. And, um, you know, we're going to keep pushing at it and try to put a little pressure on each other to bring the best out of us. Tom, Robert Haynes, you said he's starting to see the field the way you see it. Um, can you just talk about that relationship between the two of you and how, like how he's progressed in the first six weeks? I like his confidence. <laughs> I see it pretty good. That's one of my strengths. So I'm going to have to, he might need a little humble pie is what he needs. If that's what he's. I know. Um, no, he's doing a great job. Yeah, he's doing a great job. I love him being in there and he's really stepped into a tough position to play and uh, proud of him for his effort and his commitment and he's means a lot to him. I think everyone feels that from him, like how much he cares about what he's doing. And that's important when you're with a group of guys that are, you know, there's a lot. We all put a lot into it. And you want to see young players, especially, um, you know, guys like that, that really accept the responsibility that comes with being a starter, then that really important position on the team, like center. And um, just really, you know, really proud of what he's accomplished thus far. Tom, is there any uh, significance to the shirt that you're wearing today with Chris Godwin? Or just nope. It just isn't my luck. It's warm. It was raining out there. I looked for the heavy the heavy clean. little cut. Yeah, it was clean, so it's a good shirt. I mean, there were plenty of shirts with your face on them, too. So. I know they always do. I love anything with, for those guys. I'll do anything. Tom, it's important to ask, in this locker room post-football, who, who will be the best pickleball player? <laughs> Let's see. Um, Mike would be really good. With that length, power, um, the good players, it's really a finesse sport, you know. So, not a lot of finesse guys in the locker room. <laughs> we got like a bunch of bulldogs in there. So I'd say Mike. Yeah, Mike Gronk would be really good too, but he's not in there. So. Can you play? Are you good? I'm all right for a 45 year old. That's you know average athleticism. I'm decent. So. Can you just talk about what you've seen on tape so far from Pittsburgh? What kind of challenges they present? You, you talked about Tomlin and what, he, what the way he prepares his guys, but the, the players actually on the team, well, what have yeah. you seen out of them so far? They're very good. You know, they're play very sound. Um, you know, it's a hard-nosed team. You know, I played the Steelers a lot. They very physical style of ball. Cam Hayward's one of the great players I've ever played against. Miles Jack, Devin Bush, really good group of linebackers. Um, got some good pass rushers, so. Secondary, they're a little banged up. We're just trying to figure out who's going to play. But Minka, I think Minka's a phenomenal player. Um, Edmonds is a really good player. So they're going to challenge us. You know, They're going to be sound. They're going to be in the right position. And they're going to make us earn it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.